The off-duty officer who crashed a car into a home has been in trouble before. Two News Investigates first told you about Sergeant Corey Rolando crashing his car into this home in West Carrollton April 6th. He was cited for operating a vehicle without reasonable control, and the home has since been condemned. The owner has not been able to live there since the accident happened. Well, today, our Natalie Tendall obtained Rolando's disciplinary record. Well, after going through hundreds of pages of internal investigation records I obtained from West Carrollton Police Department, I found this accident wasn't the first time Sergeant Rolando broke the law while off duty. According to Sergeant Corey Rolando's disciplinary records with the West Carrollton Police Department, he's been under internal review five times in 14 years. Two of those write-ups caught our attention. Records show in 2000, Rolando hit a car with his police cruiser while in traffic. Nobody was seriously injured, but he was cited for a sure clear distance and given an oral reprimand. In 2006, he was investigated for breaking the law while off duty. Internal investigation documents say Rolando and a few other West Carrollton officers were involved with what documents called playing a joke on the midnight shift. Reports say they broke into Wilson Park Pool after hours, called 911 and hung up, then ran from their fellow officers when police responded to the dropped call. At one point, a gun was pulled by the officer on duty before he realized the people he was chasing were off-duty officers. Rolando was ultimately given three days of unpaid suspension. The criminal investigation was dropped. Records say the department wanted to handle it internally. I also checked Rolando's employment record. In it, I found 29 performance reviews to be very positive. He also had several commendation letters that reference fast responses, and in one case, saving the life of a civilian. Now, as far as the accident goes, the West Carrollton Police Department has not decided if they'll take any internal action. Police Chief Doug Woodard tells me they're still reviewing the accident report from OSP. Natalie Tendall, 2 News investigates. A viewer asked us to investigate this story, so if you have one you would like us to look into, email us at 2newsinvestigates at WDTN.com.